Let's take a few minutes to get familiar with the online navigation of the course pages. When you first log into the course, you'll be brought to the home page. In the home page, you'll find basic information about the course. This is just pulled directly from the syllabus. You can find a link to learn more about your instructor and any important announcements that your instructor makes throughout the course are always going to appear here. You should make sure that you check the course daily in case your instructor has left important information in the announcement section of the course homepage. If you select the syllabus button in the course menu, you'll be brought to the syllabus for this course. This is where you can find all the essential basic information about what this class is, what its objectives are, the structure of the course, the basic required materials. The grading and course requirements and the course schedule. You can also get to the course schedule by clicking on the schedule tab in the course menu. You'll be spending the bulk of your time in this course in the lessons section. When you go to the lessons section of the course, you'll find a table of contents for all 16 lessons that we'll be working on. Each lesson begins with an overview. In the overview, you'll find a video from your instructor giving you an idea of what to expect in the coming lesson. You'll find a list of learning objectives for that lesson, key terms and their definitions, the assigned reading you'll be expected to complete for that lesson, and any important activities that you'll be expected to complete by the end of the lesson. Later in the course, when we begin working on major assignments, you'll also find a tab in the lesson overview telling you what you should be working on during that lesson. Once you've looked at the overview for a lesson, you can get to the next section of the lesson by clicking the next page icon or by navigating to the particular page that you're looking for. Each lesson will consist of a variety of text, videos, and visuals to help guide you through the information that you need to be learning for the course. Each video includes a full transcript that you can take a look at if you need to. The final two sections of each lesson is an activities section and a summary. In the activities section, you'll find all the necessary reading, quizzes, discussion forums, and other exercises, and major assignment activities that you should have been working on during that lesson. You can get to the quiz, discussion forum, or other drop boxes by clicking on the links in the activity section. The summary section gives you an overview of the key concepts that you should have learned during that particular lesson. Make sure you are familiar with those key concepts before moving on to the next lesson. In the major assignments button in the course menu, you can find all the assignment instructions for each of the five major assignments we'll be completing in the course. Just click the Show Assignment Details button and you can find the full instructions. The Activities section 
of the course menu will bring you to an angel page where all of the lessons are divided into folders and you can find all of the activities that we'll be working on for those lessons in each folder. Clicking Communicate will bring you to the course mail section. If you'd like to send a message to your instructor or to other students in the course, you just click the To section, select who it is that you would like to email, click To to populate it into that field, and then click OK, and then type your message as you normally would. You can find your grades in the Grades section, and you can check in with your team later in the semester when we're working on our collaborative writing project by clicking on the Teams button. Please let me know if you have any questions or need help navigating through the course at any time.